Hi everyone, my name is Ryan Clark. I'm the founder and CEO of Clark College Consulting and Clark College Funding, the superhero of college planning, the author of two wonderful college planning books, and a college coach that's worked with over a thousand families throughout the United States. And today I wanted to talk to you about gap years, explain kind of what that is, give you some information so if you're considering a gap year to help you with that and maybe walk you through some of the myths of a gap year. So what is a gap year? Well, a gap year is essentially taking some time off between high school and college. And the American Gap Association, the AGA, recently did a survey and found out that more students are taking gap years than before. Now, it's still only, only about 1% of the student population in the United States, so it's still very small, but it's getting more popular with uh, students. And if you lived in the UK, for example, almost a quarter of the students, 25% of the students, take a gap year in the UK. So it's definitely much more popular in the UK and uh, the trend is in the United States it's getting more popular. And so that's why I wanted to talk to you a little bit more about the gap year. So why even consider a gap year? Well there was another research far firm in Australia and they followed young men and women that took a year off, that took a gap year off, and then they went back to college and they um, what they found out is that the young men and women that took a gap year did better academically in college and that is um, not all the other variables taken out meaning um, socioeconomic status and gender and so on and so forth that didn't matter it was solely based upon gap year and uh, so it's, it seems like gap year is really helping students benefit and you're probably thinking well what why would you benefit for taking a year off? Well, sometimes letting teenagers get away from a structured environment, you know, getting away from mom and dad, getting away from coaches and school and parents allows them to develop their independence and their grit, if you will, and their self-reliance. And those are skills that they will certainly use once they get to college. Um, and, and it's becoming much more prominent in colleges as well. Colleges are, are such much more acceptable for gap years. So I'll give you a great example. Princeton just recently started their own funded, fully funded program, gap pro program, where they will uh, encourage young men and women to go explore the world for a year and then come back to Princeton. And uh, they help pay for it. It's fully funded. So it's a really, really cool program. So colleges are starting to kind of understand the benefits of a gap year as well. So let's go over some myths of gap year. So one myth I hear all the time is, man, I don't know if I want to take a whole year off um, from school. Well, you don't necessarily have to take a year off. You can take a month off. You can take a semester off or a quarter off. You don't have to take a whole year off. It really just depends on what you want to do and what your plans are. Uh, you could take just a semester off if you wanted to and work on a community service project, if you will and then start back up in college in January. So that is a possibility. So what's another myth? Um, gap is exotic. I gotta go to exotic places. Well, the fact is most young men and women in the United States, when they take a gap year off, they don't leave the United States. So it's pretty common to stay here. While some places in the United States are exotic, uh, when I think of exotic, I don't think of staying in the United States. So. You could uh, work on language skills, for example, or tutoring in a local center or whatever it may be and, and take that time off from uh, college and high school. So what's another myth? Gap year is too financially expensive for me to attend. Well, gap year can be expensive. There's no doubt about it. Uh, what I found over the years that students have become very creative on figuring out how they can afford gap year. So, of course, a lot of students will take a few months and work and save up their money and then use that money to fund their gap the rest of the gap year. Uh, I've had other students do crowdfunding as well which is kind of neat. Um, I've had other students uh, look for programs at schools like Princeton we just met, mentioned or try to get a uh, fellowship or financial aid from colleges so there are other ways of paying for the gap year. And the last year Gap year is just for students that are unsure what they want to do or what they want to study in college. Well, that's not necessarily true. As I mentioned before, you know, take on a break from, from mom and dad and parents and a structured environment uh, from school. 
you, you develop some skills that you probably won't develop anywhere else, such as uh, communication skills and working with others and working with other young men and women with different personalities, understanding your own limits, um, knowing what you're, how to manage your time. That's extremely important. Uh, being responsible for yourself and others, right? All those are great skills that you will learn during your gap year. And those are skills that will translate not only in college, but outside of college as well. So uh, gap year can be, can be enticing. So it's something you might want to consider. So if you are considering taking a gap year, I'll give you some information below, some resources for you to get some more information about that. And I hope this information was helpful for you. And if so, do me a favor, and please share this information with other students and other parents, other teachers, other individuals who you think might find this helpful. Uh, I try to provide this information to you on a weekly basis because I know there are a lot of young men and women, a lot of families out there that have lots of questions about this college planning process. And it can be difficult. It can be overbearing. Uh, there's a lot of pressure associated with this. So any little nugget of information uh, that they get might help them just alleviate them a little bit better, make this process a little bit easier for them. So again, thank you guys for sharing this information. Have a wonderful day and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.